going to be taking you on solving a system of equations using the Kramer's rule. Okay, uh, there's so many approaches to solving systems of equations, but today we are going to use the Kramer's rule. The Kramer's rule will be using determinants to solve the equation. So I'm going to let you to try out this and then after you try it out, we will then show you the answer. If you get it correct, you can move on. Unless you want to see the way I will work it out, you can go through the video with me. Okay. So, the numerical answer for the x value is x is equal to 31 over 2, y is equal to minus 13 over 2, z is equal to 4. Okay, so now we can go about and see how these values have been found. When solving a system of equation using the Kramer's rule, we must first have to put these systems of equations in a matrix form. Okay. 1, 2, 1, 1, 0, 1, minus 2, minus 7, minus 1. Then the answers 1, 3, 5. Yes. So we are going to first find the determinant of this 3 by 3 uh, matrix. So I'm going to use the method of minus and using this sine matrix. Okay, for the cofactors of the minus. So. Um, Going on through this, we say 1 with its minor, which is 0, minus 7, 1, minus 1, right? So we have a negative 1. This negative 1, we have, we are deleting the row and the column for this 1, and we are being left with the minor. 2, minus 7, 1, and minus 1. Okay, That's, that is what is taking place there. 2, minus 7, 1, and minus 1. Okay, then for minus 2, the sign in the matrix is a plus, plus and minus, we get a minus 2, and deleting the row and the column for this minus 2, we will have a 2, 0, 1, and 1. Working out through these, we say 0 times minus 1 is 0, minus 1 times minus 7 is a minus 7, minus 2 times minus 1, minus 2, minus 1 times minus 7, minus 7, then uh, 2. 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 0 is 0. So here we have a 7 uh, minus, minus 2 plus 7, we we'll get a minus 2 plus 7, we we'll get a positive 5. Then here we have minus 2 times this 2, we we'll get a negative 4. Okay. Now we are saying 7 minus 9, get a negative 2. That's the determinant for our system, this matrix 3 by 3, okay? So to find the x value, what we will then do is we will put this column its values are going to be placed on the x, x, co, x column where we have the x values in the column like this. I'm saying this 
you say one, three, and five, then one, zero, one, we put the other, the remaining columns, minus two, minus seven, and minus one, okay. We will find the, the determinant now for this matrix, okay. So, on this matrix, I'm going to use this row, this row, this minus, okay. For one, it's a negative one, and the minus for the negative one is three minus seven is three for negative one. Negative here, we have three minus seven, then five and minus one. And here we have a zero, and here also have a negative. The minus for this one is one and minus two, three and minus seven. One and minus two, three and minus seven. Okay. Now we are finding the values saying 3 times minus 1 minus 5 times minus 7 okay minus 1 times minus 7 here the determinant minus 3 times minus 2 okay here we will have minus 3 minus minus 35 minus 1 times minus 7 minus 7 minus 3 times minus 2 minus 6 okay then a negative bracket minus 3 plus 35 we will get a positive 32 minus 3 plus 35 get 32 then here we have uh, minus 7 plus 6. Minus 7 plus 6, we get a negative, a negative 1. Minus 7 plus 6. Then we are now saying minus 32 plus 1. We get a negative 31. Okay. So what we will then do is we say, the determinant when we place the column in the x, the matrix with an x, divided by the determinant of this matrix, which is uh, minus 2, which is minus 2, and uh, we have the determinant of x as a negative 31, and our determinant for the matrix is minus 2. So the value for x will become 31 over, over 2. Okay. 31 over 2 through this process. Now we go on to find the, 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 the value for, for y doing the same, the same procedure. Okay. Doing the same procedure. <coughs> Remember, we will be using our determinant for this value throughout. Uh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So now for for y value, likewise, we are substituting this column. Where we have where we have the y column, okay, All right. So I'm going to use this 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 column, the minus of one and two and one to find the the determinant. Taking use of this sign matrix, okay. Then the minus of one. Minus of 1, 3, minus 7, 5, and minus 1. 3, minus 7, 5, and minus 1. Then the minus of 2, 
deleting the row, I'm deleting the column. The minus of two are one. So we get a negative two. Uh, we have one minus two. One minus two and five and minus one. Okay. Then uh, the minus of one, I'm deleting the row for this one and the column for this one, I will have uh, one minus two, three, and minus seven. So this is it. Getting on to find the determinant, I will say uh, three times minus one, minus five times minus, Minus seven. Then here I have a negative two. I'll say one times minus one. Here one times minus one. It's a minus one. Minus five times minus two, which is a negative ten. Okay. Then here I'll say plus uh, one times minus seven. It's a negative seven. Minus three times minus two. Three times minus two. The minus six. Okay. So manipulating this, you say minus three. Minus five times minus seven. Minus thirty-five. Then here I have two. Minus one. Plus ten plus minus seven plus six is a negative one. Okay. Minus three plus thirty five I get a, a thirty two. Minus two. Then here we are saying minus one plus ten is a nine. Then here we say plus a negative one. Okay. So now I'm going to say 2 times minus 18 minus 1, then 32 minus 19. What do we get if you say 32 minus 19 from my calculator? I'm getting a 13. So remember, we are saying the value for the determinant when we have replaced the column for y divided by the value of the determinant from our matrix. Okay, so here we say that value for y is 13 and the determinant for this first matrix was a negative 2. So we say divided by d is 13 divided by negative 2, which is equal to minus 13 over 2. Okay. Now, doing the same procedure, we are now going on to finding the value for, for z. Okay. Finding the value for z. Finding the value for z. Right. Again, we we'll, we'll put these values inside here. One, two, one, one, zero, one. Then I'm going to say one, three, and five. Okay. Right. So we are now saying which way to use the the column here one what are the minus of one and we have the negative here two and three one and five right and then uh, zero will give me a zero then here I also have a negative 
one here. What are the minors of this one? The minor, the same one and one, two and three. Like this. I was checking from this column, these are the minors of one. And also, these are also the minors, the minor, the minor for the element one. Okay. So, breaking it out, we are saying negative uh, two times five minus one times three. Then one times three. Minus two times one, like this. Okay, then we are now saying ten minus three minus three minus two. Okay, here we have a uh, seven. And here we have one. Okay. Here we have three minus two. Okay. We're now saying minus seven minus one. You get a negative 8, right? This is the determinant when we have placed the value of uh, this column here. And we, remember, we also have the determinant which is for, for this <coughs> matrix alone, which is minus 2. So to find the value, we are now saying the z value is equal to the change, the determinant when we place this z value over the determinant of the matrix D, which is minus 8 divided by minus 2, 4. Our z is 4. So likewise, remember, we found our, y, our x is 31 over 2, our y minus 13 over 2, our z is 4. So that's how we do it when we are solving a systems of equations, the 3 by 3 matrix using the, the Kramer's rule. And the procedure is the same even if we have simultaneous equations of a simultaneous equation, when we only have two systems of equations. We we'll do the same when using the Kramer's rule. So thank you very much. I hope you have grasped the concept of getting the values of a system of, of equations using the Kramer's rule. I will be taking on more, uh, more videos uh, solve, of solving systems of equations using different methods. Okay, thank you very much for getting in touch.